Being thrilled we are to be returning to Hollywood for our annual Academy Awards viewing party. Over the years, this has been an extremely important fundraising event to support our urgent work. Back in 1992, we started the Elton John AIDS Foundation with our very first Oscar party, and we raised $300,000. That was because of a man called Patrick Lippert, who, before we started raising money for AIDS, um, threw Hollywood parties to raise money for political causes, and Patrick became HIV positive, and he said to us, I'd like to do something for AIDS. And so that's why this party started, and every year we remember Patrick uh, for the incredible start that he gave us and this fundraising ability to, to, to fundraise on Oscar night. Um, that year we raised, as I say, 300,000, and we were overwhelmed, and we thought we were the kings of the world. 16 years later, i pleased to inform you that tomorrow night we hope to raise $5 million. Now, movies have been a lifelong passion of mine, and the, the night I won my Oscar is one that I'll never forget. This is a year of wonderful films and some even incredible better performances. I have a few favorites, but I'll keep those to myself because I've already voted. But while we gather to celebrate the achievements of this year's Oscar nominees, we also come together for a very serious purpose. Make no mistake, we're not here just because we want to be. We're here because we need to be. When the eyes of the entire world are focused on Hollywood, we take advantage of that moment to remind everyone of the continuing threat of the AIDS epidemic and to raise urgently needed dollars for HIV AIDS pre prevention programs and direct services for people living with the disease. This year, with the help of many of my dear friends, we are really pulling out the stops. My wonderful band, who have always supported the efforts of this foundation, will be joining me, and we're delighted and honored that multi-platinum and grinding award-winning artist Mary J. Blight will share the stage with us for a very special performance. And I'm thrilled to announce today that my friend Jake Shears of the Scissor Sisters will be joining us as well. I guarantee you a few award-worthy musical performances right here tomorrow night, and there might even be a couple more surprises. In addition, our live auction will feature a number of wonderful items, including a photograph by the late Helmut Newton that was generously donated to the Foundation by his wife, June. Um, it's an incredible piece, um, one that I covet, and I collect Helmut's work, and we're hoping that it goes for an incredibly large sum of money. Also, the artist George Condo's oil painting, The Laughing Comedian, a 1974 vintage Corvette from the personal collection of my dear friend Sharon Stone, who I hope will help us sell it for a lot of, a lot of money. I'm sure she will. She's the best auctioneer there is. And a journey for two around the world, retracing the steps of Phineas Fogg, donated by the leading hotels of the world. Thanks in large part to the generosity of our Academy Awards viewing party donors, the Elton John Ace Foundation was able to set a new record of 6.5 million dollars for its grant making in 2007 and to increase its annual grant making investments by over 136 percent over the past two years. As excited as we were by these achievements, we knew full well that so much more needs to be done. The recently released statistics from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention showing a 50 percent increase in the number of Americans newly infected with HIV clearly indicates that current HIV prevention education efforts are insignificant and insufficient. The Elton John AIDS Foundation needs to do much more, and tomorrow night we hope to be raising another $5 million for HIV and AIDS prevention. I would like to spend, extend special thanks to our generous event sponsors, Chopard and BH1, to our venue sponsor, the Pacific Designs Center, and to our new official sponsoring airline, American Airlines. I'm also grateful to two to all of my very gracious co-chairs for their outstanding leadership and support. And finally, let me join the millions of people around the world who will be watching the Academy Awards Sunday evening in offering my congratulations to the incredibly talented individuals nominated for this year's Oscars. As long as HIV and AIDS continues to impact the men, women, and children of the world, we will be here every year looking for the support and generosity of the entertainment industry. As we've seen before, when the Hollywood community comes together, especially during the celebration of our love of film, great things can happen. And tomorrow night, I promise you, great things will happen to support our fight against AIDS. Let me also add that um, the Elton John AIDS Foundation Party is solely put on every year um, as a fundraising activity. We are very lucky sometimes to have Oscar winners come through our doors, but we are not Vanity Fair, and nor 
to be claimed to be Vanity Fair um, and, and our party have great relationships. In fact, last year, uh, David and I, when the party ended, went to the Vanity Fair party. We have a great relationship with them. Um, this is about fundraising and, and, and making money. The Vanity Fair party has always been about the celebrity and the Oscar winners. We've been, as I say, very uh, lucky over the years to have our fair share of them. But um, tomorrow night, because there is no Vanity Fair party, there's a special focus on us, which we hope to take advantage of because it will uh, increase the awareness of our campaign to raise more money for people with HIV and AIDS. And I thank all of you for coming this lunchtime for your time. Um, it's very much appreciated. Thank you.